Hi everyone! So recently I've had a lot of questions in the comment section and I really love your questions. So in this video I'm going to answer one question or request that I had on one of my videos and the viewer asked this question. Bro, make a video in which you get live forex data, open, high, low, close and try to plot real-time streaming candlestick data. Means the chart you plotted it, it must change after a given interval. So I believe that this question is really good and what I plan in this video is show you how to code an application that does exactly that. Okay, so here's the web application for the real-time charts and what you can already see is we have a drop-down box with the list of symbols that we can display. We can also choose the time frame and also number of candles. So for example, if we want to have a chart, let's say in Bitcoin, all we have to do is type BTCUSD and then a Bitcoin chart will appear. If we want to change the time frame, uh, we can, for example, click uh, M5 and now here we have the M5 candles. And if we want to zoom in or zoom out, we can also choose the number of candles that should be displayed on our chart. So, for example, we set uh, the value to 30 and on the chart we now see 30 candles. As you can also see, uh, the price updates real time. I've set the update interval to 200 milliseconds. So every 200 milliseconds, this app is asking the MetaTrader 5 platform if there is any change in price. And if there is, then the candle will update. Okay, so we are now in PyCharm IDE. And I would like to explain how this application was coded step by step. Uh, before we begin, I would like to mention that I will also host the code on my GitHub. So if you follow the links in the descriptions, you can download this code and test it on your end as well. Alright, so this application was built uh, with Dash, which is a web application framework for Python. And also we use Pandas and Plotly to create, uh, to do the data analysis and data visualization. And I'm using the MetaTrader 5 library to connect to the data feeds. So the, we are taking the data from MetaTrader 5. And lastly, I also imported some functions. That, so this is a Python file that I've created myself to get the list of symbols from an Atari 5, to get the time frames and a time frame dictionary. So uh, before I we proceed to the code, let me show you the MT5 functions. And here we can just see uh, the time frames, which is a list of time frames like M1, M5, M15. And to translate these time frames to um, MetaTrader 5 uh, time frames, we are just creating a dictionary where M1 is representing MT5.timeframe M1. So in a way where MetaTrader 5 can understand which time frame we are requesting. Also, to get all the symbols from MetaTrader 5, uh, we can uh, get the list of symbols by using MT5 symbols get, and then we can save the list of symbols uh, inside the list, and then this function will return a list with the symbol names. So this is everything that's contained inside MT5 funks, which is this here, and we will use it later to write our application. Okay, so to uh, create the app, we create an instance of the dash application with app is equal dash name. And I've also added some bootstrap theme. Uh, this is just a way to make it nicer in terms of CSS. And this application, so let me show you what the app looks like. So this application uh, contains a symbol, time frame, and number of candles. So we have a uh, drop down component for our symbols we have a drop down component for a time frame and we have an input component for the number of candles and the resulting output should be this chart here so if we go back to the code we can see each individual component here so the symbol drop down is this component here where we set uh, the text where we have the text symbol and then we have the drop down component dcc where it's uh, taking the list of symbols remember this is the function that we've uh, imported from mt5 funks so it's uh, creating a options list with the uh, with the available symbols and we set the default value to eurusd 
For a time frame top drop down component, we uh, uh, we just add the time frame text, and here in the options we add the list of uh, possible time frames, so M1, M5, M15. Again, this was imported from MT5 Funks. I set the default value for a time frame to D1. So when you open the app the first time, it will show the daily time frame. And then uh, the number of bars input. Uh, this is uh, created using DBC input, so it is just uh, input a field where you can type the number of candles and I set the default value to 20. So now to create the layout of this application so we now set app.layout and all these components are inside an HTML div so we set the heading to real-time charts which is this component here and then uh, we just uh, add this in a row so we have the symbol drop down the time frame drop down and numbers input components in a single row here then we added a small separator which is this element here and then we also added this dcc interval component so what this component does in dash is that it will create a callback every 200 milliseconds to update the chart so every 200 seconds we will uh, request a uh, new price data if there are any to have this real-time chart and then i created this html diff component so this is where the page content will be outputted so to create this uh, page content uh, we then created a callback so inside this callback we have this input that is DCC interval so every 20 milliseconds we will create an update of our uh, page content div and it will then output the children of this component which is the the, the chart so uh, here we just take in the state of the symbol dropdown, of the time frame dropdown, and the number of bars input. So these are the values that are taken inside callback. And then if we have these uh, these variables, these uh, so if you have the data, then we can simply request from MetaTrader 5 the historical bars. And to request the, uh, the OHLC data, we use MT5 copy rates from post and add in these uh, values so we take the symbol that is requested the time frame we start with a candle index zero and then from zero we ask for the number of bars so then we do some simple conversions with time and create a figure object with go dot candlestick so here we're using the plotly library and here we are creating the ohlc chart then uh, we just uh, adjust some settings on the chart so i just disabled the range slider on this figure and i also fixed the x and y axis in a way such that you cannot zoom in and then after generating this fig we just return uh, h2 with the symbol name and the time frame and the updated figure so with dcc.graph we are returning uh, the current chart on that symbol and time frame. So let's now run the application. So all we have to do is run application.py and then uh, you can access the app from your local host. So let's click here and a new window in your browser will open. So this is great and that's the result of our code. We are now at the end of the video, so I would like to thank my viewers for the great questions and requests. If you yourself have other questions or requests, feel free to post them in the comments below and I'll happy have a look at them. Again, you can download the application from my GitHub page, so make sure to visit that. And I thank everyone for attention and I'll be back with another video.